Welcome to the Green Room with Tim Katz. I am here with my very, 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 very special guest, worldwide acclaimed film director, producer, actor, and musician, Kevin Costner. Kevin Costner, Kevin Costner, thank you for being here. God, thank you so much. Yeah, I'm glad you came. Um, yeah, me too. I'm glad I came to your concert last year at Milwaukee because I totally got turned on to your music. And um, as people know, I'm not a big country fan, but I loved your music, your yeah. original music. And you're playing tonight at the House of Blues in Chicago. I can't wait to see you again. He did like a two hour plus concert last time with a really terrific, very talented backing band with John Coyneman and uh, just a whole bunch of people. I can't think We're of We're kind of all together. It's, yeah. It's, it's, I'm not, I'm not, I kind of been in front, but that's kind of what's happened to me most of my career. Uh, it's pretty much a uh, it's a real family affair up there. Yeah, you've been together with these guys a mm -hmm. long time. Yeah, They're old John friends. John and Blair um, were in the first band I was ever in. So I, I really the very first band. Yeah, yeah tell uh, you know uh, people. Well, that was you know listen uh, you know uh, sometimes we end up where we end up in life like I have and and uh, and there's a moment in time where people quit putting your life in reverse to figure out where you came from. Right. They just like you landed on Mars, Hollywood Mars, and go, wow, I really want his life. And if you maybe see the beginnings of it, if you want to look back forensically, you know, you understand the little jobs you do, the right. times you go without a check, the times you look at your friends who have cars in their first house, maybe even their second house, and you don't, you don't have a thing even in the bank. So you don't know what's going to happen with your life. And we started with John, little acting workshops, he played music, and I sang in choirs, and we always fiddled around. We eventually had a little band together, but... Wait, uh, so you were doing music before you were acting professionally? Well, I was always tinkering Like when you were kind of broke and you just got married, you were doing music back yeah, then? Yeah, I was singing and I had been in the, you know, from early on my grandma played the, uh, the um, piano in the church. My mom was in the really? choir. And then I took classical piano and, and, awesome. uh, and uh, did musicals and that kind of thing. And then you kind of just, you move on and... And uh, so acting was, took a bigger priority, and, and I kind of had it started to go the right direction, and we just stopped making music for a while. Right. We stopped, and, and it was, uh, I, I married a second time, and my second wife, Christine, it kind of encouraged me to, you know, she heard the music, and over a period of a couple of years said, I, I think you should, like, do this again. Good for her. Yeah, she, she did. Encourage she encouraged that. Saying, Send you away from home. Kind of in a soft way. Well, she's with me. She travels. With oh, okay, me. all right. And Kate's with us, our one-year-old. So. Oh, neat. Yeah. See, that's so groovy. I want to acknowledge you for pursuing your musical dreams. Uh, you know, at this point in your life, because for decades it seemed like um, whenever an artist tried to do something like painting or music or you know other forms of creativity other than the one they were known for. People would just shoot them down and, yeah. and so try. Think of it as a novelty. Yeah, right. We're, you and I aren't going to change the world. You and I aren't going to change the world. People are going to still think that. We're so, not. No. <laughs> but 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 the, but the important thing is that is that I change. You know, and actually right. one of the last songs we'll sing tonight is called you know, "Hey Man, What About You?" You know, something's happened to me. Has it happened to you? Uh, and the idea of that is that you know we can go through life. You know. Uh, look, no one expected me to make it as an actor, or blah blah blah, blah blah blah. You know, I'm, I'm not even sure my parents thought I'd make it through the kindergarten. <laughs> I wasn't exactly the best student, but you know, it, we, we live in a world that wants to limit us, and we just can't let that happen. You know, we can, uh, we can be afraid, we can hold back, and and and, uh, you know, if I didn't think we had anything to offer, we wouldn't do this. Right. We, we just, we just simply wouldn't. I, I think I would hopefully be smart enough not to put myself out there and whatever reputation I have, risk it for some kind of vanity. We, right, like, right. we like the music, we're, we're not based in covers, we're based in original. And I love your originals, they're really, really good. It's very difficult to write and sell original music. It's difficult to hold on to an audience live because you know if they're not able to sing and tap along at some point they check out and that fortunately hasn't right. been our experience. Oh God, I, at the last concert they were absolutely loving it, dancing, standing the entire time. And I'm sure they will be tonight, too. That's a hope. That's a hope. <laughs> of course. Are you kidding? You're so wonderful. They're just going to love you. 